Hi everybody, welcome to the Venton Lab. I'm Jill Venton. I am a professor of chemistry here and also the chair of the department at the moment. We're so sorry that you don't get to come and actually meet us in person, but we've made a little tour for you of our lab so that you can see the kinds of things that are going on and meet some of the people here. I'm really proud of our team and how they're reacting kind of during this coronavirus epidemic, uh, but also about this, the cool research that goes on in our lab. So in our lab, we develop analytical tools to study neuroscience problems. And we do both sides of the equation. On the analytical side, we develop new electrochemical sensors and capillary electrophoresis techniques in order to be able to detect really tiny quantities of neurotransmitters in the brain. And on the neuroscience side, we then use those sensors and implant them in things like fruit flies or model organisms like mice and rats to learn more about the dynamics of neurotransmitters in the brain. Our main goals at the moment are really to speed up the rate that we can actually measure chemicals in the brain so we have some idea of what the real-time changes are in neurochemistry. While we're not really a disease lab per se, uh, we think that if we understand the neurochemicals better, that's going to lead to better treatments of disease. And so we do study things like Parkinson's disease, stroke, aging, that kind of um, information, and really looking at the chemical changes that are happening in your brain. So you're going to find a lot of different kinds of people in our lab, people who focus more on technique, people who focus more on biology, and it really all comes together, I think, for a really compelling research group uh, acting on compelling research problems. Hi, uh, my name is Mimi. I'm a postdoc in Benton Lab. So my main research is focusing on Drosophila normal gaster, which is a fruit fly. And especially I'm working on the developing the analytical tool to measure the neurotransmitters released in the Drosophila brain in adult flies mainly. So I get to do a lot of cool electrochemistry and imaging and the surgery in the tiny, tiny Drosophila fruit fly uh, brain. So if you'd like to join us, uh, yeah, you're welcome. I really love my project because who gets to do the surgery on the fruit fly and the measure the neurotransmitter release in real time. Hi, I'm Zijian. I'm the second year in Ventolab and I'm on the fundamental electrochemistry part of the Ventolab. We're exploring different types of carbon-based electrodes and we're doing microelectrodes and we're um, playing with the teeny tiny little electro tips but a small one can even have a very big chemistry here, so we're exploring the different structures and ways to different functions in the neurochemistry, uh, neuro, neurotransmitter detection. We measure neurochemicals in the brain um, in real time, and like a particularly during the diseases such as stroke, Parkinson's, and uh, we measure these neurochemical changes and how these neurochemicals affect uh, under these conditions uh, such as stroke. And and uh, we've also looked at uh, sex differences, you know, the differences in how uh, adenosine in particular is released in the body between ma males and females. And uh, we're also looking at some uh, of how adenosine is a neuromodulator and how it affects uh, the release of other neurotransmitters such as uh, like dopamine. One of the things I'm proud about is that my students get to do a lot of traveling. Uh, that I'd like to send them to conferences. Uh, we also do a lot of celebrations here in the lab. Uh, you'll find out if you publish your first paper, you'll find out every, for every paper that we have a little ice cream party. Uh, I really believe that science is hard, it's a slog. You know, your research doesn't always work, but we need to celebrate it and uh, share it uh, when we do have successes. So why did you join the Fenton Lab? Um, so first, first of all, Jill is a really nice mentor and also she helped me a lot, even though my undergrad background doesn't have so much strong analytical or electrochemistry background. She still paid a lot of patience and helped me to work it out. And now I got like a pretty good fundamental knowledge and know how to deal with all the things. And also neurochemistry neuro <coughs> combining with electrochemistry it's quite interesting, although it's kind of hard, and but it's still uh, really good. And also, you know, it's really fast measurement compared to other methods, which is really fascinating and really attract me. And also, uh, our life is like people really nice, and everyone loves to talk around and help each other, which is a really good environment for me, and especially for a foreign 
uh, international students is really helpful. I love this environment and I love continue doing research in Jules Lab. We really love working here. It's a great environment to be in. Vent Lab is really actively recruiting graduate students at the moment. Uh, we'd love to have at least two or three more people join our team next year in all of the different projects that you've heard about today. So please contact me. Uh, my email is just jventon, J-V-E-N-T-O-N at virginia.edu if you want any more information. And I hope I can interact with you more throughout our sessions at Graduate Recruiting.